Masks are now required again in Little Rock. Today, Mayor Frank Scott Jr. implemented a city mask mandate. It comes as the Delta variant continues to surge across Arkansas and right here in Pulaski County. THV 11's Jordan Howington breaks down the mandate and shares what we need to know. We believe that our power cannot be taken uh, when it comes to protecting the residents and their public safety and health and welfare. It's time to take action. Those are the words of Mayor Frank Scott Jr. Despite Arkansas banning statewide mask mandates, the city of Little Rock is implementing its own for indoor public spaces. It comes after ending the original city mandate in May. I'm someone who puts on a mask quite often. Um, my glasses get fogged up. It makes me sweat. It is a very uncomfortable thing. Uh, but right now, um, we have to be uncomfortable. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you're anywhere other than a privately owned business or private property in the city of Little Rock, that means you must wear a mask. Examples of indoor public spaces in the city include city-ran sports facilities, fitness and aquatic centers, libraries and recreation centers. I'm not wearing my mask outdoors, but when I do enter markets, I definitely put a mask on. Many residents who we spoke with are for it. I agree with this. Because if we don't keep anybody safe, we got to keep each other safe, especially the baby safe and the elderly safe. Some say the state should reconsider and follow suit after banning the statewide mask mandate. And I'm expecting the Arkansas legislature to do the same. It's a shame if they won't. The mandate does not include restaurants and businesses. However, the city strongly encourages them to follow suit. Little Rock City Attorney says he feels confident in the direction the city is going. I mean, I understand public rights and I understand private liberties. But I don't understand putting people at risk to die. Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. Jordan, thanks so much. This mandate goes into effect on Friday. The city plans to revisit the mandate on August 31st when its state of emergency ends. However, it's possible the mandate will be extended.